Hey guys, my name is Sexy Dude, or Muck spelled backwards if that's what you want to call me. I am here playing some Feed the Beast, but we're not going to focus on that. Today is going to be a tutorial on um, on a, uh, a steam boiler, as you can see from the title. Now, before I get started, I'm going to explain that um, I had started an uh, FTB, a Feed the Beast series. That will be ending. And I am turning that into a a tutorial series. So, like, I yeah. So this is a, I'm playing in the same world. This is gonna be on the same server. I'm doing everything legitly, but it will be. I'm gonna make a tutorial out of it instead of episodes. Um. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So today we're gonna be making a steam boiler, a, a liquid steam boiler, uh, as part of Railcraft. And yeah. So let's get started. So to start off making the steam boiler, you're going to want to make some steel plates, which is made from, you put four steel in a rolling machine. You're going to do that. You're going to need 27 high pressure boilers. You could do low pressure boilers using iron, iron plates, but here with uh, do, you use the high quality stuff, all right? So we made some high pressure boilers because it's better. Um, also, you're going to need nine f liquid fueled fire boxes. That is made with four steel plates. Um, two iron bars, a fire charge, a furnace, and a bucket. And also, in order to do this, you're going to need some water in there. So I made me an aqueous accumulator, which is used by this. Um, this is just easiest in the Feed the Beast mod pack. So um, it's not, if you're just using Railcraft, um, it might not be, it, it, I don't think it's in there. Um, so you just got to figure out another way. I think there's a way to do it with a, I, I don't know how you would do it. Just keep refilling it or something. I don't know. Um, but most people aren't just playing with Railcraft. They're playing with uh, Feed the Beast or another mod. So um, also I got these, the liquid field firebox will run on a, on um, creosite oil, which is the output of making coal coke. So you put some coal in there, cold coke will be made, and an output of that is creosote oil. And that's what we're going to use to power this. So I got a lot already made. So let's start setting this up. Got to start off like that. And then you're going to, you could do three high, but for best quality stuff here, we're going to go four high. See, it connects. See that, but we could still, oops, we could still go higher. Um, and there you go. So it's a nice, and uh, we're going to be putting all the steam into this huge, 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 huge iron tank, which is also part of Railcraft. Uh, that's not part of this, so you, you can learn how to do that. That's pretty easy. So that's filling up with water right now, like with accumulators, filling that up. Um, so let's get it on. Let's start. <laughs> let's get it on. <laughs> I crack myself up. So let's turn now and get our little crescent hammer. All right. Let's flick the lever to this, turn that on. And creosote oil should be flowing in here. As you can see, it burns through it pretty nicely. It's going, I might, is it going, it's going pretty quick, I guess. But let's hope we can get it to 100. But so the, so we're going to be pumping this in here. It could also run on biofuel, which is also forestry. It can run on, uh, and also regular fuel, which is made from oil. So, um, How's this look? Oh God, we're burning through it. So once we start producing steam, I'll cut back to it and I will show you guys what goes down. Yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are back. And uh, I decided to go into my creative world because it'd just be easier. And the server was down when I just wanted to record this and no one really plays anymore. So I'll just do the tutorials in my creative, my creative world. In this beautiful metal. But anyway, we got an iron tank set up with creosote oil, the 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 the, the liquid-fired steam boiler. 
that. Don't ignore that for now. That is where we're going to store the steam. Uh, I forgot to set up the aqueous accumulator. I'll do that on camera. Because I know that's what you guys want to see. Yeah. Um, let's put it underneath. Probably should have gotten some tools to Vajra. <laughs> that tool is too good. I would never make that. Water. I only needed two, but... Oh, well. Bam. While I'm doing this, uh, yesterday, I'll tell you a little bit about my life. Yesterday, I went to a college, and... All right, cool. Yesterday, I went to a college, and... Uh, uh, I took a test for placement, and I'm, I'm not in the retard college classes, which I'm excited about. But anyway, <laughs> just thought I'd uh, throw that out there because I'm a sweet baby angel. All right, we don't need those. Let me get a tool out. A tool. There are no tools. No, I'm just kidding. But um, so let's let's let this baby rip. Hopefully, we have enough creosite oil because it does take quite a bit. So, uh, does this work on it? Yes, it does. Very nice. So, we'll start on that. And this is an Omni wrench. That I'm using. You can make it like that. It's pretty cool, actually. Is this filling up at all? It's going. Oh, it probably has to go through. The bottom part is what I'm assuming. Liquid X. Um, let's just, just redo it. Uh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> All better. <clears throat> and look at it, just burns through it. Uh, if you're playing on Feed the Beast, so I would recommend using either Fuel or Biofuel because I'll show you, let's go to, uh, Fuel. Um, all right, so here's biofuel. It is, oh, I actually want to announce. So it is 30 in a liquid, it's 32K heat in a liquid field firebox. Wow. Creosite oil is 3K, uh, it's 3.2K heat. So it's, that's like 10 times. That is, biofuel is 10 times better. And let's see, fuel. Uh, where is fuel? I don't see fuel. See bio, oh here it is. And this is, oh God, 384, oh wait, no, 96K heat. So fuel is the best overall, but, uh, okay, we should be good. Fuel is the best overall. I'm just showing you with creosote oil because that's all part of Railcraft. So is this. This is not the Liquid X Arm, but you can transport. I don't know how to transport it other than in Railcraft, but um, this music's really loud. I'm gonna have to turn that off. Anyway, I'll cut back to when I'm starting to make the... Actually, no, while that's going, I'll explain what I'm gonna do. So. Really? I'm a wrench. Ah! Got a bow. Gah. All right, so. God damn. All right, so what you're gonna want to make use to this steam, you're gonna want to make a either commercial steam engine or a industrial steam engine. Commercial is iron plates, glass, piston, and two iron. If you have a lot of iron, invest. If you have a lot of steel, invest in this because these engines are better. So I just set up 10 of these, uh, what are they called? Energy conduits or whatever, energy cells, uncharged. I set that up, uh, 10 of them with 10 industrial steam engines. So this will be pumping out the, this will be pumping out the steam whenever it gets into here. Let's actually close that up. And it will be powering these engines, which I probably should hook up. 
I'll do that the easy way, but now I'm gonna sh I showed you that, so now I will cut back until it is creating steam. One second. Oh my God, we are so close to 100. Oh, come on, yeah. All right, steam should be being made. Yes, steam, look at it, it's being made. Steam's being made, yay. Yay, so this is how uh, steam is made. Yeah, now let's see how these engines and this tank fills up. Da -na -na, na -na -na. All right guys, so we are going, going, gone. We have a lot of steam going in here. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip the lever. I think I already flipped it actually. And we are going to power all these bad boys. Can't tell if they're going or not. Yes, they are. Are they powering this? Yes, they are. So with this, you'll just have a continual powering of these uh, redstone energy cells. You just need to, they'll get going after a while, obviously. But uh, you just need to change out these, these things, the redstone energy cells. Uh, it's like, this is actually like an MF, uh, MFE. For industrial craft, it, that's the same thing for build craft, it, or like he uses the build craft, the MJs, while the MFE uses EU, which is what a lot of things are good for. So, this creosit, I use not a million, a little bit over under a million. I used 800, 700,000 about, and it's still going. Oh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> That's annoying. Always pops up. But we're almost at a million steam. And my recommendation would be have more valves because we're losing steam right here. Technically, because it's not being produced. But uh, all these are being produced nicely. Sweet. Alright, I can move that out, that out. I was kind of like exploring some things. Look at this thing. Come on, that's not even fair. Now I gotta take down the whole tree. Getting wood. I don't like these trees here. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's the end of my tutorial of how to use a steam boiler. I hope it helped a lot. If it did, let me know in the comments. And uh, I'll probably make another video, tutorial video on FTB. And uh, hope you enjoyed. See you later. Bye.